Hello viewers, welcome to my channel on virus Citadel. In my last video, we saw uh, theory about prepositions, what a, what a preposition is, what are the types of preposition, the A, E, I, O, the four types of preposition, how to identify them, and what are the characteristics of a preposition, what is the structure of a preposition, and we learned about what is the inferences, what is the immediate inference and what is immediate inference and uh, how to do conversion and how to do implication, what is meant by it. And we learned uh, uh, all the tables regarding immediate and immediate inference. And today in this video, you are going to solve problems on syllogism. So I will explain six problems here and if you are able to follow it, you can solve problems on syllogism easily. See, as I have already told you, in syllogism question, at last we have come to the problem, solving the problem. So all theory parts over, now read the problems carefully and as I have told you, there are always uh, one or two statements will be given followed by one or two conclusions and each conclusion is to be tested individually not together you should consider only one conclusion at your time never both so now read the statement uh, what is the statement given the statement given is no color First statement is no color is a paint and the second statement is no paint is a brush and first conclusion is no color is a brush and all brushes are colors. Now we are going to test the first conclusion. No, no color is a brush. That is the first conclusion. Only one at a time. So now look at the conclusion. No color is a brush. The first step is find the subject and predicate of the conclusion. What is subject here? Color is the subject. And brush is the predicate. Right? See which statements contain the color and brush. Both subject and brush. Are they present in the single statement? Color and brush. No color is here. Brush is here. That means they are not present in one statement. The subject and predicate of the conclusion is present in two different statements. So here the predicate is the major term. This is the predicate. Isn't it? Brush is the predicate and this is called major term. Predicate is major. Remember PM, Prime Minister. Remember that. PM is predicate is major. And of course, yes, subject is minor. Oh, that is also M. Huh? No, first is major. PM. Just remember PM. The other is subject. Predicate is major. Predicate is major. Okay. Now, see whether which statement contains the major term, brush. The second statement contains the major term, brush. So, this becomes the major premises. This is called major premise. Okay, so major term is the predicate brush and brush, where is brush? In the second statement, this becomes major and color is the minor premises and where is color in the first statement? It becomes the minor. So write there fully, all, both are, yeah, so minor. All, this is minor premise. Up to this, all right. The statement which contains the major term is the major premise. The statement which contains minor term is minor premise. And which is major term here? The predicate. Which is predicate? Brushed is predicate. So, this statement contains the major term brush. So, this becomes major premise. This becomes minor. Always first statement should be major. Okay, this becomes first statement. This becomes second. You are going to 
change the order of the statement. Why? Always the major uh, should the major uh, promise should come first. So you are here changing the order. So th this means we are saying we are aligning. So first you should see whether both the statements are aligned. What is aligned? Whether major statement is the first and this minor is second. They are not aligned. Why? Because the minor major term containing sentence, the major premise is given as second. No, they should come as first. You are aligning it. Okay, change the order of the same. If they are already there in the statement, the major term in the major premise first and the minor term in the second uh, premise, then okay, don't change the order. All right, after this, okay. Right. Now, they are from different statements. We have to use both. Subject and predicate are not in the same one. Then we can go for immediate inference. No, we cannot use immediate inference. We have to go for only immediate inference. Why? Because two statements have to be used. Why two statements? Because the subject and predicate are different sentences. And are they aligned? No, they are not aligned. Why? They are in the reverse order. Change. So, you have to Change the order of the center. This becomes major and this becomes minor. Now, what is the next step? Now, find the type. What type are they? No color is a paint. Universal negative. What is universal negative? E type. Am I right? Yes, E type. And the second sentence, no paint is a brush. Again, it is E type. Universal negative. E type. And your conclusion, what is your conclusion? No color is a brush, that is also E type. Okay, now we'll look into the table of immediate inference, right? Because we are using two statements, you have to look into the table of immediate inference. And look there whether E plus E is there. E plus E is not there. Because our first statement, whether the, now we are changing the order. Even if you don't change, it becomes E and E. But you have to change it because in other problem, it may not be so. So you have to always put the major uh, statement first, second statement below. The second statement. So E plus E is not there in your uh, table. Look into the previous table for immediate inference. E plus E is not at all there. First E, second E, no. That means uh, the conclusion E plus E is invalid or incorrect. So this conclusion is invalid, not correct, not follows. You should write there what not follows or incorrect. Okay. The first conclusion over. And coming to the second conclusion. Now forget about this already over, incorrect. And the second one, the same procedure for the second conclusion. The same thing, same steps. What is the same, second uh, conclusion? All brushes are colors. All brushes are colors. So now, repeat the same thing. Find the predicate. What is the predicate? Color is the predicate. Subject is brush. Brush and color, are they in the same sentence? Brush and color, no. They are in different sentence, two sentence. Brush is in the second one and color is there. So two different means, immediate, not immediate, immediate inference. And this color is predicate, that is the major term. So color, this one contains the color, first statement. Contains the major term. So that becomes the uh, major premises. And brush is in the second, which is minor term, subject. So the order is correct. Now for the second conclusion, you need not change the order. You have put for the first conclusion one and two, but no. But here, because it is in the, it is aligned. The statements are aligned. What it means? The first sentence contains the major uh, 
uh, term. That is the color. It becomes the major premise and this is the minor premise. So it is in order. So don't change. So again it is E plus E because both are E. It is E plus E. Again you see into the mediator inference table. E plus E is not there. Invalid. So your conclusion. Second conclusion is also invalid. So neither one nor two follows. You got this? So neither one nor two follows. So you, I'm not giving here the option A, B, C, D, E because you know um, usually they know they give uh, in the uh, paper practice questions and in the uh, this thing they give option A. Uh, <coughs> only one follows. The statement and the conclusion one follows the, and B only uh, two follows. C either one or two follows. This or that follows. And D neither this nor neither one nor two follows. E both one and two follows. So you have to find first. First one follows does not follow it follow. Find the answer then choose the correct options. So again, you have to be very careful in reading the question, whether which one is A, which one is B, which one is C. So after finding out everything, you are getting the correct this thing, but finally choosing the option, you shouldn't go uh, wrong. So don't get confused before going to the this thing, go through the papers and get familiarized. Usually they don't change the options. A is always uh, one follows, B is uh, second uh, follows, and the C is either one or uh, two follows, and D is neither <coughs> this or that, and e, e is both follow. Usually they give like that, but sometimes they may change it also. So I'm not giving any options A, B, C, D. I'm just giving the correct answer. So you shouldn't make any mistake in reading the correct option. So, but this is the procedure for all the syllogism problem. All right. So you have to learn the table by heart. Now, the second problem. Uh, read the two statements. All stars are planets. All planets are galaxies. Two statements are given. Both are positive. So you should get a conclusion uh, positive. Remember the table. And two conclusions are given. And we are going to take into consideration only one at a time. The first one. All galaxies are uh, planets. Now find the subject and predicate. Galaxies is the subject and planets are the uh, predicate. See whether both are present in the same sentence. Yes. All planets are galaxies. They are present in the same. Both the galaxies is there and planet is there. Subject is there. Predicate is there. But they are in the reverse order. What does this mean? You, we are going to use only this statement. That means immediate immediate inference immediate immediate inference is of two types one is conversion another one is implication conversion is where the subject becomes predicate predicate becomes subject the galaxy is the uh, predicate here it has become the subject in the conclusion and the subject planet has become predicate they are reversed so this is conversion so now we should see whether it is a valid conversion. Isn't it? So it is immediate reference of the type conversion. But whether this conversion, all galaxies are planet, is valid. See the conversion table. Look into the conversion uh, table. A into I type is conversion of A into A is not valid. Only A into I is now find out the, what is the what type of statement is all planets are galaxies that is A type. And all galaxies are planets is also A type. So this conversion is not valid. Look at the table of conversion. The previous slide. What is conversion? Subject and predicate are interchanged. But yes, conversion is here. 
they are interchanged but you should check whether they are valid valid conversion a into a is not valid only a into i is valid so this is invalid so conclusion one does not follow all right and now go to the second statement second conclusion we should check for the first one we have found out that it does not follow the second conclusion is all stars are galaxies now the entire procedure you have to repeat so check it is present in both the stat statements or in one state let me remove this the previous thing so that there is no conclusion erase all things now for the second statement second conclusion it is all stars are galaxies see whether they are present in the same sentence no stars is here galaxies is here they are in two different uh, we have statement that means we have to use both these statements that means mediate not immediate but it is mediate mediate reference and stars is the subject and galaxies is the predicate so predicate is the major term where is major term present in the second one and minor term is present in the first one so you have to change the order so this because major term should come first so this should become the first statement this should become the second statement and um, one two we have changed and now see the type of the statement what type all planets are galaxies this is e type and uh, i'm sorry a type universal positive isn't it so all planets let me erase this the second one is a type and the first one is all stars are again a type so look into the conclusion what type all stars is galaxy a type second conclusion a look into the table of immediate inference a plus a a plus a is equal to a so here also a so conclusion 2 follows you got the point it is why did we change it because it is not aligned it is not in the standard format the first statement should contain the major premise that is why we change it but here both are a so even if you don't uh, change it is okay but you have to change it so a plus a is a conclusion 2 follows now uh, this question you can uh, for any question you can check this correctness of your answer with venn diagram also let let me put the venn diagram for this and see it okay how will you draw venn diagram now all stars are planets so big circle planets and this one is stars and this is stars and this is planet and so all stars are planets and all planets are galaxies so put everything in the galaxies g this is the venn diagram uh, for this statement and check whether the conclusion all galaxies are plan first conclusion all galaxies are planets see all galaxies are plan no all. all planets are galaxies but all galaxies are not planets so does not follow so does not follow and here the second one all stars are galaxies yes all stars are within g galaxies true so second one follows see you can 
uh, come to the conclusion immediately by drawing Venn diagram also. Whichever you are familiar, you can do it. If you have any doubt, you use both. What we did first is analytical method. And now we are doing checking it with Venn diagram. Okay. Now look at the uh, third problem. Two statements are given, two conclusions are uh, given. And now see. You should try only one conclusion at a time. So no bungalow is a house. So find out the subject and predicate. Bungalow is the subject and house is a predicate. See whether both are present in the same sentence or different sentence. Bungalow and house. Yes, it is present in the first sentence. House and bungalow. Both subject of the conclusion and predicate are present. House and bungalow. Okay, what does it mean? Immediate inference. If you find both subject and predicate of the conclusion in the one single sentence, it means immediate. Yeah, yeah. Immediate, immediate inference. And it can be of uh, implication or conversion two types of immediate inference implication and conversion conversion is where the subject and predicate will be interchanged conversion remember look at the table previous line so yes it is interchanged here the subject is here but it has become the bungalow has become predicate here and the whole subject has become here the predicate in this conclusion has become subject in the statement so it is a conversion and we should now check whether this conversion is valid. That's all looking at the table. For that, you need to know the type of the sentence. What type is the no house is a bungalow? This is E type, universal negative. Isn't it? And no bungalow is your house. Again, universal negative. So look into the conversion table, the previous slide, E into E. Yes, correct. It follows. Conclusion 1 follows. Okay. Now, you have to look for the conversion. Remember, it is conversion means changing of the subject and predicate in the conclusion. So, now only you have to check is whether it is valid conversion or not, correct conversion or not. And conversion of E into E is valid. And now, uh, for the second, second conclusion, now we have to check. Now we erase all that. Where is the eraser? Okay. Erase this. Now you have to check for the second conclusion whether it is correct or not. What is the second conclusion? What does it say? Some apartments are not houses. So what is the uh, subject here? Apartment is the subject and houses for the predicate. Now check whether they are present. Both subject and predicate in the same sentence. Uh, house is here but apartment is not there. Apartment is here. So two different sentences. That means it is Mediate, not immediate, but mediate. Mediate inference. Okay. Now, you have to use both these statements and see whether they are aligned. What is aligned? The major term should come first, major premise. Which is major premise? The one which contains the major term. What is the major term? From the conclusion, the predicate. That is the major term. House is the um, major term. And it is present in the uh, first test. Correct. Major term first and minor term in the second. Minor premise. Yes, they are in order. They are aligned. So this is one, then this is two. Correct order. You don't have to change the order. Now find out the type of sentence. What type is this? No house is a bungalow. It is E type. Isn't it? And universal negative. 
and some apartments are bungalows particular positive i and this conclusion some apartments are not houses negative sentence and particular negative that is o type look into immediate reference e plus i look into the table the previous table e plus i what does it say e plus i gives o star so here o star means interchanging the uh, subject and predicate e plus i o so apartment is here uh, subject in the second but house the subject here the first sentence has become the predicate in the conclusion isn't it so that is changed that is that is why we say it is not o o star so that is valid so conclusion 2 follows e plus i is equal to o star right so conclusion number 2 follows you got it and this again you can check by means of the venn diagram let me erase all this and draw the venn diagram for this and check whether our answer is correct if you have time to check with venn diagram otherwise just leave the analytical method what is this? no house is a bungalow no that need to separate this is house and this is bungalow no house is a bungalow some apartments are bungalows so this is apartment overlapping apartments some apartments are bungalows here right so overlapping is there. and conclusion no bungalow is a house no bungalow is a house no connection yes it follows and some apartments are not houses yes some apartments are not houses all apartments are not houses and what does it imply implication is some apartments are not houses true so both are correct so by using venn diagram also you can check your conclusion that is both conclusions are correct one follows two follows all right see so look at uh, problem number 4 uh two statements all plants are animals all insects are plants so take the first conclusion all insects are animals which is insect is the subject animals the predicate see whether they are present in one sentence or in both insects there is in the below and animals so they are in the uh two different sentence so that means we have to use two sentence so that mean mediate reference you have to use both these sentences mediate mediate inference and now are they aligned what is alignment predicate from the conclusion animals in the first major premise the predicate is the major and this is major uh, sentence the major premise should come first and insect is the minor term and minor term is present in the second sentence correct they are in order 1 2 yes now find out the type of the sentences what is this type all plants are an universal positive a and what is this type of sentence all insects are plants again universal positive a plus a and conclusion all insects are animals again a look into the table table of mediate inference a plus a is equal to a see look into the table a plus a is valid so the 
Conclusion one follows. Correct. Yes, correct. Conclusion one is correct. Now, go to the second one. Remove all these things. Erase everything. And now, go to conclusion. You have to check the conclusion two. Some plants are not insects. Plants are subject and insects are predicate. Are they present in one sentence? Plants and insects. Yes, both plants and insects are present in the second statement. See, both plants and insects are there. So it is enough if you use only one statement, the second statement. Only one statement is enough. So that means immediate. Immediate. The inference is immediate inference. It can be implication or conversion. What is conversion? Changing of subject and predicate. Yes, it is interchange. Now we should check whether this interchanging is Valid. What is this type of sentence? All insects are plants. A type. And what is this type of sentence? We are checking conclusion too. No, what is this type? Some plants are not in particular negative. O type. Some plants are not insects. Particular negative O type. So look into the conversion. Conversion state uh, table, whether it is valid or uh, not. Conversion of A type into O type is not valid. Look into the table. A to only I is valid. No, A to O. So, this is not valid. So, conclusion 2 does not follow. Okay. Now, we can check this again with Venn diagram. Can we draw Venn diagram for this? Check whether your answer is right. That is, conclusion 1 is correct, valid, and conclusion 2 is not valid. We are going to check it. How will we check it? Or draw a Venn diagram. All plants are animals. So, plants, all plants are contained in animals or P, plants. And all animals. And all insects are plants. So, you should draw here insects. Within this, we should draw one more circle. Draw it again. Let me draw it. Insects. This is the insects. All insects are plants. And all plants are animals. Okay. Now see whether the conclusion all insects are animals. All insects are animals. Yes, this I is contained in P and P is contained in A. All insects are animals. Yes, true. And the second statement, some plants are not insects. Some plants are not insects. This does not follow. So, conclusion 2 doesn't follow. So, you can always check this with the Venn diagram. Alright. Now, look at this problem 5. Two statements are given, two conclusions. Take the first conclusion, all rivers are oceans. 
check whether both subject and if is the subject river is the subject origin is the predicate see both are present subject and predicate are present in the same sentence check rivers and oceans no they are in rivers and ocean different so that means it is you have to use both the statements that means mediate mediate reference mediate mediate inference you have to use both these statements and now see whether they are aligned what is aligned the predicate is the major term Let's see whether it comes in the first one oceans this is the major term no this is in the second term and this is the minor term with the first term. so you have to change the order this becomes first and this becomes second okay why you change the order of the sentence because the major term motion is present in the second this become major premise always major premise should come first and uh, reverse is the minor term and the minor premise containing the minor term should come in this next so now only it is aligned you change the order now find out the uh, type of the sentence all rivers are lake universal positive a and all lakes are oceans universal positive a and your conclusion all rivers are oceans a a type universal positive look at the table of mediate reference a plus a give to give right to a so correct valid so conclusion one follows I'll check for conclusion two. Oh, erase everything. The previous one, erase everything. Now check for the second conclusion. What is the second one? What is the second conclusion? Some oceans are lakes. Oceans are subject, lakes are predicate. See whether they are present in the same sentence. Lakes and ocean, yes, they are in the second statement. So you can use only one statement, that is the second statement. So it is immediate. Only one statement means immediate, I double M. Immediate. I hope you can read this immediate inference and immediate inference implications and conversion see conversion means interchanging the subject lakes yes it is interchange the subject has become the predicate here and the predicate has become the subject here. interchange and whether it is valid this conversion is valid you have to check how do you check what type of sentence all lakes are ocean positive universal positive a type and what type of sentence is this some oceans are lakes some particular positive that means i type look into conversion table a into i is valid look into the table a into i is valid conversion so second one also follows so both the uh, statement is correct. Okay, this conversion to check whether the conversion of A type sentence into I type sentence, you have to look into the table. Which table? Immediate or inference table under that conversion. Okay, so conclusion 2 also followed. Then it is A, B, C, uh, both follows. Which one you have to find out the option. And let us check with the Venn diagram. Checking part, you can do it with if time permits. Check with Venn diagram. All rivers are lakes. So the rivers, this is lakes, rivers. Or lakes 
on legs are oceans. Oceans. Okay. Are river, lake, oceans. Now see all rivers are ocean. Yes. It, these rivers are contained in this in the big circle. Yes. First statement follows. Okay. And uh, some oceans are lakes. Yes. Some of the oceans are in lake overlapping with lake. That is also true. So confusing. Okay. Check with Venn diagrams. All right. Now, look at the last problem, sixth problem. Read the statement. Some prisoners are decoys, some decoys are murderers. And take into consideration the first conclusion. Some prisoners are murderers. Prisoners is the subject and murderers are the predicate. Find out whether they are present in the same statements. Prisoners and murderers. No, they are not present in the same sentence. Prisoners is in the first statement and murderers are in the second statement. So we have to use both these statements. That means it is mediate reference. Mediate inference. Okay. Now see whether they are aligned, whether the statements are aligned, whether the statements are in structured format. Predicate is the major term, murderer is the uh, major term, but it is in the second statement and the subject is in the first, it, the order is reversed. So we want the major premise to be the first two statement. So this becomes one and this becomes two. And so what is mediate reference? You should look into the table, mediate table. Now before that, find out the type of the sentence. The first statement, some decoids are murderers. Some, some means particular positive are murderers. So particular positive is I. And the second statement, some prisoners are decoids. Again, particular positive, I. Now, look into the table. Which table you should look into? Mediate table. What does it say? I plus I. So, so I plus I is not valid. So we have both are I. So first statement, uh, second statement doesn't matter. So anyway, we have put it. So one plus one. Look into the mediate inference table. I plus I is it there? It is not there in the table. That means it is invalid. So the conclusion, first conclusion is incorrect or invalid. Now the same procedure for conclusion 2. What is that conclusion 2? All prisoners are murderers. Now let me erase the first one. Now Look at this second country. All prisoners are murderers, which is the subject. Prisoners is the subject and murderers is the predicate. See whether they are present in the same sentence. Prisoners and murderers. Prisoners and no. They are in different statement. They are present in both the statements. That means again it is mediate. Mediate inference. And what type? We already found out that is I and this is also I. And see whether they are the, whether they are aligned. Murderers is the predicate. So PM major is murderer. It should come first. 
So you should reverse it. So this statement becomes first and prisoner second minor term so second statement reverse but both are i so it doesn't make much difference now i plus i again we have found out immediate reference table look into the table i plus i is invalid so the second conclusion does not follow does not follow okay and now look into the third conclusion. Third one. What is that? Third one says some decoids are prisoners. Decoid is the subset, no, I mean, subject, and prisoners is the predicate. See whether present in the same statement decoids, prisoners, no. Decoids prisoners, yes. Both subject and predicate are in the same. Decoids and prisoners are in the first sentence. So that means this is immediate. So third conclusion, it is immediate. What is immediate? Immediate reference is either implication or conversion. What is conversion? First look for conversion, whether the Subject and predicate are interchanged. Yes, decoids has become the subject, which is predicate in the first statement, and prisoners has become the predicate. The subjects has become predicate. The subject and predicate are interchanged. That means conversion. And you should see whether this conversion is valid. This is I type, and the third conclusion is some decoids are prisoners. I. So look now. Look into. Immediate reference table conversion. See, I into I is valid. I into I is a valid conversion. Look into conversion table. So, conclusion 3 follows. Third one is correct. Right? Now, coming to the last conclusion. I saw this pen. Let it be there, I and I statement we have already found out. So let it be there. The last statement some murderers are decoids. Murderers subject and decoids predicate. See whether they are present in the same statement murderers and decoids. Yes, murderers and decoids are present in the same sentence, second sentence. That means it is immediate. Immediate. immediate inference. So, immediate inference means it could be implication or conversion. So, first to see conversion whether the subject and predicate are interchanged is conversion. So, here it is interchanged moderators have become the subject and the decoids have become the predicate interchanges this means conversion what is the conversion here this is i statement and here some moderators are uh, decoids this is also i so we know we already found out from the conversion table i into i is valid conversion of i into i is valid so fourth Conclusion follows. This one is correct. Now you got it. This is how you should proceed. Now let us check it using Venn diagram. So this is the result. This is the one does not follow. Second does not follow. Third conclusion is correct. Fourth is correct. Now we can check this using Venn diagram also. Some prisoners are protest prisoners and decoids. Some prisoners and this is prisoners and they are decoids. Okay, and some dec some decoids are murderers. So put murderers here. There is overlapping. Yum. 
So some decoids are murdered. This is it. So we have drawn the Venn diagram for the, both the statement. Now check the conclusion. Some prisoners are murderers. Some prisoners are here and murderers here. The third circle. No connection. So does not follow. So right. We are checking the result which we have already got. And the second conclusion, all prisoners are murderers. No, prisoners is here, first circle and murderers, last one. Does not follow, correct. Look at the circles. Some decoids are prisoners. Yes, there is overlapping this, this region. Some decoids are prisoners, correct, it follows. And some murderers are decoids. Again, overlapping is here. So it is true. So the fourth conclusion is true. It follows. So that is all to it. Okay, friends, that's all for today in this video. Hope you have understood how to solve problems on syllogism. The only thing you should emphasize is systematic procedure go methodically one step after another one next step next step next step check one by one and you will be able to arrive at the valid or the correct conclusion and of course you have to learn all the tables and the charts given in the video and learn them by heart and just try it two or three times you will get it and work out only the six problems then you can easily solve any problems on this and get familiarized with options a b c d e that is conclusion a is conclusion one follows b means two follows c is either one or two follows d is neither one or two follows that means both are wrong and E is both correct, both one and two follows. Just familiarize yourself with this option so that you can choose the correct option quickly. You need not waste time in uh, reading the options. What does A say? What, is, what does B say? You don't have to spend time so in order to save time, but don't expect the same options. Sometimes they may change it. So in order to confuse you. So just get familiarized and uh, you can learn. Just approach these problems and the charts with a positive attitude that you can learn it. So nothing is impossible. Good luck. Bye-bye.